What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Scarlet, bringing a very cool team. Marshad was very scary, as always. But we're bringing a brand new team built around Thwacky, so we kind of built the team around Raboot the other day with the Choice Band, so this is going to be kind of cool. Thwacky Choice Band, just like Rillaboom um, Choice Band. So, yes, um, I'm actually going to go over the team in a little bit, as we usually do. Um, I want to predict his lead. What is he going to start with? Probably the gosh darn Dragapult. I can see that. I can also see the Cinderace. So I think what we do, we go into Toxapex, just kind of scout what he's going to go for. Maybe Baneful Bunker and get a poison on something right away. And um, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I, th I think that's going to be really good. Now, I know we brought a Halucha on the last Wi-Fi battle, but I decided to bring a new one with the Grass CC to kind of complement the um, gosh darn uh, Thwacky. So it's gonna be very fun, very, very, very fun Wi-Fi battle. So, um, he's gonna start with the Dragapult. Who's, who's this, Lansorian? I knew it. I knew you were gonna start with the Dragapult and I kind of read that I should have started with, um, what's his name? With, um, I'm forgetting, Bish Bisharp, with the Bisharp. I'm gonna Skull just in case this thing is a physical attacker. And it is. It's a good thing we got the Black Sludge and um, Regenerator because this is going to do a lot of damage. And I'm really hoping that we burn. Life Orb, Scald, burn. Check this out. Check this out. And it's not even a crit. It's going to burn right here. Yes! Call me the Magician because I read everything. I really do. I really do. It's not for the faint of heart. Now, he's um, probably not going to stay in. This gives me the opportunity to switch out into something. What you may ask, I'm really thinking that either Hatterene or the gosh darn, what's his name? Uh, Toxtricity. So I think this is going to give me the opportunity. So if Toxtricity comes out, I can hit it with the Choice Scarf. If Hatterene comes out, I can, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I think what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to go out into the Gardevoir. And I need to go over my team. I understand that. I have 30 seconds. I cannot cover it in 30 seconds. But I'm going to go out into the Gardevoir here. I really don't think Dragapult is going to do much. He stays in, unfortunately. He's probably going to Dragon, Dan uh, Dragon Darts again. I can see him doing that. I'm going to go Infiltrator here, and then you're going to Dragon Darts. Oh, Will-O-Wisp. I'm actually cool with that. Um, am I afraid of the... Well... The best move that it has within the physical ghost type is Phantom Force, and I really don't think that's going to do anything to us. Um, I can see him going into the Cinderace, in which I can go ahead and hit him with a... I'm, I think I'm going to go Psyshock to kind of play it safe. And I outspeed this Dragapult, surprisingly. This is, must be an adamant nature. And he's going to go Phantom Force here. So, Phantom Force happens... I don't have a normal type to kind of tank these hits, but it is what it is. He should be going down the turn after this one. So I think what I'm going to do here is just go into the Toxapex, kind of protect myself in a way. Uh, to Toxapex will be able to tank this hit very, very, very easily. And then he's going to go ahead and just, um, yeah. He's going to get knocked out after this Phantom Force. This isn't going to do anything, and he has the option of going to Marshadow. If he goes Marshadow, I'm actually going to recover just to kind of see what he's going to go for. I think Marshadow gets Zen Headbutt. I've never gone against Marshadow, so I really don't know what it brings. It is Uber for a reason, though, with the Technician and what's so not, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy with that. Absolutely insane stats with Technician. It's almost a Mega Pokemon. It's a Mega Lucario in a way. <laughs> Except it's fighting ghosts instead of fighting steel. Now, um, I have not forgotten. I am going to go over the team after he brings in his Pokemon, whatever Pokemon he brings in. He must be afraid of my Toxapex. I'm almost certain. And I probably ruined his strategy by going Dragapult and just kind of staying in. I probably wouldn't have stayed in with Dragapult if I'm being completely honest. Pyro Butt, the Cinder Race comes out. Now, I know for a fact this thing does get the Psychic type attack. And I'm actually comfortable going for a Baneful Bunker to kind of scout what he's going to bring. So we made full bunker. We're going to go ahead and get the poison damage up. And poison this bad boy. And Zen Headbutt, it is Libero. So what I do here. So he gets poisoned. Um, 
Obviously a Zen headbutt is gonna hurt like no other And I don't know what to bring out next I do not know I'm gonna go ahead and buy sharp here and then he's gonna go ahead and go for the fire type attack and I want to go into Toxapex again I think that's a good play I know you want a Zen headbutt boy let's hit hit me with it now, the good news is that I'm actually running... No, I'm not running Sucker Punch on this one. I'm thinking of another Buy Sharp I have. Because I'm actually running Knock Off. Um, he's probably going to go for the Fighting Type Attack or the Fire Type Attack. And I'm going to go ahead and switch out here back into the Toxapex, predicting that. And I'm going to go ahead and Protect again. This is how I'm going to get rid of the um, Cinderace. And now we're playing Mind Games. So it comes the Pyro Ball. And this isn't going to do anything to us. We're back at full health. This is going to do like what? 25%? 25%. If that. If that. And then you're going to lose a little bit of poison damage. Which is fine by me. And he's going to go ahead and... Um, yeah, I don't know what he's going to do here. But I'm going to definitely protect... Or Baneful Bunker, I should say. And he's going to go ahead and go for the Psychic type attack. Now this is where the mind games begin. This is where the mind games begin in a way now I really don't want to stay in and take a uh, fire type attack or not a fire but a, a psychic type attack check this out check this out you're either gonna go for the fire type attack zen headbutt or the fighting type attack now i'm gonna go ahead and bring in the sound some delure i really hope you're running high jump kick my friend i really do i jump kick Fireball! Bam! I'm actually cool with that. I'm 100% cool with that. Now, with this in mind, I am choice... Um, specs? I think I'm just gonna Heat Wave here. I really don't care. I really, really don't care. Zen Headbutt's gonna come out. Please miss. Miss? Nope, he hits me. And it's gonna hurt. It is gonna hurt. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this is going to give me the opportunity to kind of knock this thing out. The only way I get outsped now is if Marshadow comes in play. But, um... Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do if Marshadow does come into play. Because it's... out. Not only does it outspeed my whole team... It's going to, uh... Punch a really big hole into my team. Please don't bring in the Marshadow. I'm begging you. I am begging you. Have you guys played Pokemon Tournament, by the way? Very cool game, very hard game, but Chandelure is a really good Pokemon in that game. Very, very good. Please don't bring the Marshadow. I'm out playing this guy like no other, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. What you gonna do, Scarlet? Is this guy's name Scarlet because of his hair? That and his glasses and eyebrows? And he's, they're all murdered out. They're all in black. Okay, who is this? Toxicity. I do not care, boy. I really don't. I'm going to heat wave and we're calling it a day. Chandelure is getting a sweep. With the exception of Marshadow. I would have gone into Marshadow here. You should have gone into Marshadow. That's the only play you should make. I don't know if he was afraid of me going into the Toxapex into the Marshadow. I don't know what he was thinking. So here comes Marshadow now. And I know for a fact this thing is going to outspeed me and pummel, punch a hole through my team. We got, we're just going to stay in. We're already, it, we're already this deep in here. Spectral Thief. What does this do again? I know it does something kind of crazy. You still my, my stats or something like that. Yeah, so this actually doesn't do him any good without, um, yeah, without that thing. I don't know what I'm saying. I really want to go into Thwacky here, but I'm actually going to go into the Toxapex. I'm going to Baneful Bunker. That way I can get this Marshadow in range to actually knock knock it out. Toxapex is putting in work against this team. Um, and honestly, I'm just going to... I really want to stockpile. I really, really do. But I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and just check out what he's going to do first. You're probably going to go for another Spectral Thief. So it's probably not very... Um, oh, Bulk Up. Okay. Okay. Very, very good in reading me there. He's, he actually played it smart. I'm going to Scald here and I'm going to hope for another burn. 
Toxapex, I know you got it into to burn the second time. I really do. You got that that really hot water. There's something different about the other Toxapex I used, or about this Toxapex compared to the other Toxapex I used. This is gonna do a lot of damage, not gonna lie. More than what I'm comfortable with. Good news is that his defense and special defense drop, so he's now at regular defense. His HP goes down. This is gonna be the option to go for the Skull. It's gonna do a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy and it's gonna burn. It's not gonna burn. I lied. He's probably gonna go for another bulk up and I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to Scald again. And kind of hoping he gets greedy and gets the burn. Pokemon has a really good tendency of burning people when they get greedy. So, he did a good job of not getting greedy. Spectral Thief and I have not gone against, I have not gone over my team, I lied. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna go over that in just a moment. And Scald's gonna knock this thing out. Well, no it's not. I lied. Okay. So I'm not gonna let Toxapex go down here. He still has a really, really good team. So Toxapex has Bankful Bunker, Stockpile, Recover, and Skull, just like you guys seen with the Regenerator. Thwacky, a really good Pokemon in this team. I'm really excited to use this. I probably won't be able to use it in this Wi-Fi battle, but U-Turn, Knockoff, Drain Punch, and Grassy Glide. So it's another Rillaboom, except it's a Thwacky. And then we got the Chandelure with the Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Heat Wave, which Flash Fire proved to be really, really good. We got the Bishop with the Rock Polish, Knockoff, Stone Edge, and Iron Head. And we lastly have the Halucha with the Sword Dance, Acrobatics, Roots, and High Jump Kick. You guys already saw Gardevoir. She is, or he is, Choice Scarfed with the Focus Blast, Psy Shock, Thunderbolt, and Moon Blast. Now, what am I going to go out into, you guys may ask? I'm actually really not comfortable with Bishop. Um... I think we stay in and Baneful Bunker though. I think that's the move. We want to try to get rid of this thing as much as we can. He's probably going to try to damage me here and take my Toxapex, which I'm absolutely not going to let happen. And he bulks up. Imagine if I hit Scald. You should have attacked. Honestly, that your best interest was to attack me. So I am obviously afraid of this Marshadow. I know Thwacky can take him on. By Sharp is actually really good for the Hatterim. So I think the Pokemon we actually let go of is gonna be the Hawlucha. Or the Gardevoir, Gardevoir did her job. I don't mind getting hit by the uh, ghost type attack. I really hope you hit me at the fighting type attack though so I can outspeed this thing and take him from you. Please do it, please, I know you want to. Trace, we're gonna get, oh, imagine if I did that. That does a lot of damage still, jeez. That did a little too much. <laughs> not gonna lie, a little too close to comfort there. Now, he knocks himself out. He's probably gonna go out into the Adarim, which I'm packing the Shadow Ball for. At least I think I am. So I have Thunderbolt, I just, I'm, I'm, no, Focus Blast, that's what I'm running. So Gardevoir's actually done her job. Gardevoir's done her job very well too. So we're actually gonna go ahead and go down. I'm actually gonna just Thunderbolt here. I do outspeed this thing. The Battle of the Witches. And she's really bulky. Draining Kiss. That's not gonna knock out, bro. Oh, it does. The more you know. Man, I can't believe I actually came back. Pretty okay. Pretty okay. If you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, it did end in a draw. But it was actually a really good battle. You guys should check that out, for real. All right, so now we go into the Bisharp here. We're gonna get, let Bisharp shine as much as I want uh, Thwacky to shine. Who's his other Pokemon? Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. Yeah, we're just gonna let Bisharp do the trick here. I think the MVP of this battle was Toxapex, no doubt about it. No doubt. Now, I really don't need to rock polish here. I feel comfortable iron heading and just uh, getting rid of this thing. And then lastly with the uh, other Pokemon, what's his name? Hitmonchan, I'm just gonna go ahead and smack it with uh, uh, probably not a knockoff. What's the other attack I'm running? Psy no, I'm not running Psycho Cloud in this one. Rock off, Stone Edge, that's what I have, Stone Edge. But Stone Edge isn't gonna do anything. So I'm honestly just gonna iron head. Hope for the best. All right, this is a, a by sharp from. Woo, baby, that did a lot, and you flinched. Maybe the thumbnail should be by sharp. 
<laughs> that was cool, not gonna lie. I kind of feel bad for my opponent, but hey, it's Pokemon, you know? Yeah, that was <laughs> that was rough ending. Scarlet, thank you so much for that Wi-Fi battle. I hope you, the viewers, like this Wi-Fi battle. If you guys ever want to battle me, hit me up. Comment down below. I don't know. Let's do something. I'll see you guys next time.